so want to shift now to Arizona. This is where we're based. This is uh, the area that we know very well. And there's two big stories happening in Arizona that we want to touch on. The biggest, of course, is that Arizona is becoming the capital in the United States for chip production. And chip production has historically been in Asia, in Taiwan. We have always had a presence here with Intel. Taiwan Semiconductor, TSMC, uh, started surpassing what Intel was doing doing and really took a larger part of the market. If you're familiar with NVIDIA, which is a company that's grown super fast, they, they work with Taiwan Semiconductor for the chips that are needed in their products. So Taiwan Semiconductor is really the leader in the space. And as there continues to be pressure in Taiwan from China, where China is claiming that Taiwan is part of China and that they at some point will take over the country, Taiwan Semiconductor as a private company has started to build more and more plants outside of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And Arizona is the first onshore plant that they are building, a very large investment. And this is Taiwan Semiconductor working with the U.S. government, getting a lot of public support for this as well. And Arizona is the place that Taiwan Semiconductor decided to come. And so as someone who looks at large trends, you can begin to see what is going to happen over the next 10, 20, 30 years and as it becomes the chips hub in the U.S. and ultimately in the world as more of this onshoring happens. And this article that we, we touch on it goes to talk about how this whole ecosystem is being built. Not only are we going to have the companies here who are working and producing chips, but Arizona State University, the other universities are now building programs around uh, teaching students who will then be hired into those plants, the proper skills. And this is really a dramatic shift in in the workforce that we're going to have here in Arizona. I just want to touch on a couple of things. The U.S. semiconductor industry is projected to face a shortage of 70,000 workers needed for all of this onshoring that's going to be happening for semiconductors. 9,000 of those jobs at least will be in Maricopa County. Wow. And in addition to those 9,000, you have all the infrastructure around them, including construction <clears throat> and all the, the support of creating chips and uh, semiconductors that's going to be happening in Arizona. If I'm a parent, I'm telling my kids right now, look up the Quick Start program, enroll in it, get on the wait list because the folks that get jobs at the semiconductor factories are going to make a lot of money someday. Absolutely. Let the trend be your friend. Yeah. If you want to live in Arizona, if you want to stay here, great technical role to go start early in your career. And, you know, the sky's the limit with that industry. Yep. I mean, you can do really well there. This is not just, you know, labor and intensive jobs. These are high, highly skilled. Uh, they need folks to be on the business side as well as the production side and the construction side. And Arizona is doing it right. They're mm -hmm. focusing on building the education pipeline so that TSMC will have the pipeline to fill these jobs as they come out. And, and the government is very supportive of this plant. Now, the plant itself, there's some controversy around it. We've had some videos talking about the plant that have, have gone viral and there's been a lot of negative comments mm -hmm. around it. And there's a lot of negative of people who comment online anyway. And then there's also positive comments, but fact is that the project is happening. This is good for Arizona. Uh, it is progress and people just have to get used to that.